tell me it's not true. No, that is unbelievable. 8K footage, full. It's playing it back. Woo! Let's go, baby. Tally ho there, champs, and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be talking about the Dell XPS 159570 when it comes to content creation. I'm going to touch on some 3D video editing and Lightroom to see how it performs for a content creator. Now, if you like these type of videos, make sure you slap that like button and give me a sub because if no one likes these things, I won't do them. But if people like them, I'll continue to do them. So I would appreciate that. What makes this great for content creation is this 4K display. It is phenomenal. The best display on a laptop. We're talking 100% Adobe RGB, 4K, gets super bright, color accurate. It's everything you want as a content creator. So first of all, we'll just talk about 3D and sorry if I haven't got back to you from all the questions. I'm getting so many questions. It's like unbelievable. Thanks for leaving comments. I will get to them in the fullness of time, but I have a lot to get through. So let's just talk about 3D for now. So this is SpecView Perf 13. It's a brand new benchmark. They used to have benchmarks a while ago, but this is their new one. And if we just have a look here, we can see the scores. Now, I don't know why it says 1060p. I'm gonna run this test again, but just for now, if you wanna test your laptop against this, just download this benchmark. I'll leave it in the uh, comments and you will see that it covers 3DS Max, you know, Maya, a lot of 3D applications. And from what I could see, it performed very well with very complex models pretty much beyond what most people will do with 3D. So I think it's gonna perform very well with 3D. There were some really complex models where it slowed down a bit. We're talking full on big models, like, you know, the internals of a human, like the shoulder, the bones, the veins and stuff like that. Like the models were really complex. So this will handle 3D, no doubt. Just check this benchmark out. You can check it against your laptop. I'm sure it handles it very well, but you know, people that use 3D, some people might want to go with the Dell Precision because you're going to be able to get those quadro drivers, which will make, you know, some 3D programs perform very well. So let's see how it does with video editing now. So we'll open up Premiere Pro and what I can tell you without a doubt, after editing the last three videos with this XPS 15, I edit 4K content is it just laughs at 4K. Just like the Aero 15X that laughed at 4K, just believe me, it just smashes 4K. This is a project with high resolution photos. We're talking 36 megapixels from a D800. We're talking color correction. We're talking full raw footage here. So you can see it's just scrubbing through this, no problems. You can see the color correction there. This is 4K content and it is just plowing through that like butter, scrolling through it like butter, as you can see there, no problems, and it's playing through these high-resolution photos without a hinder whatsoever. Look at it, it's just smooth. This is that full look for the green marker just underneath the preview window there. When that goes yellow, you're dropping frames, but this won't drop frames with 4K content. It just smashes it. can play multiple streams 4K, no problems with 4K whatsoever. And this is color corrected and everything and it will play it back. So let's do something a bit harder. Let's try some 6K. So this is red footage. <laughs> it's from the red website. So you can go to red and download this footage if you want. Um, this is 6K, okay? This is raw straight from the camera. So it's not uncompressed, it's raw. We're playing it full now. And you can see I'm scrolling through it. And yeah, it's not scrolling quite smoothly. It is at full at the moment. And you would not expect even a high-end machine to be able to scrub through this at full, even like a full-on workstation. My 10-core um, desktop does not scroll through this at full, uncompressed, sorry, compressed footage. It won't do it. So it's no surprise to you when you play it it's not going to play through. You can see the yellow there for the frame dropped indicator and you can see that it won't be able to play it. So let's put it on um, half. Uh, let's go back, put it on half. And I wouldn't expect it to play that half either. 
So you can scrub there and you can see it half. It's actually not too bad. You can see it's scrubbing there. Let's see if we can play it at half. Um, there we go. Playing it. Oh, my God, at half? Are you kidding me? There's no way. No way. No. Ah, there you go. Yeah, even my, like, workstation can't do half. It would play for a little bit. No, nah, you cannot edit raw footage at half. Like, but I actually think that you could probably edit this at half. Like, we'll put it on quarter, and it looks fantastic at half or even quarter because it is, at the end of the day, 6K content. So let's scrub at quarter. Okay, we're scrubbing at quarter. And we'll see if we can play back at quarter. There's no way. I'll be very surprised because even the arrow, I think that needed to go to one eighth to play that raw. Oh my God, it played at quarter. Wow. Anyway, let's go to 8K footage. You can play it at quarter. I'm happy with that. That is amazing that you can even just play it at quarter and you'll be able to edit even at half. It'll be able to do it. But let's try some 8K footage. So 8K, it's scrolling quite easily. No, I've no, I've got to set that to full. Sorry about that. Um, no wonder it's scrubbing so easy. Let's set that to full. Okay, let's set it to full and we'll scrub. And you can see there, okay, it is a bit choppy at full. You would expect that. It is 8K content. A big workstation won't do it at full. So let's play it. You're not going to be playing back 8K content at full. Okay. And that last footage was 6K. I may have said it was uh, 8K. No, it is 6K. So I apologise for that. So this is at full 8K. Let's put it to half. Let's go up to half. Where it should be the second one. Duh. Uh, yeah, okay. So half, it's actually scrubbing okay now. It's actually nice scrubbing at half. That's nice and smooth. Wasn't expecting that to be able to play, you know, scrub at half with um, 8K footage. Let's see how it plays. Holy cow, at half. You're kidding me. Now, you really need a big workstation to do this at half. It's going to start. Yeah, there you go. It starts dropping frames at the end. I mean, you need like a $10,000 14-core beast to be able to play at half like raw footage 8K. So, yeah, let's change it to, but you can see it still scrubs good at half, so we'll change it to quarter and we'll see how we go there. Hello, let's change it to quarter. That's the one, finally get there. All right, quarter 8K. Let's see how it is. Scrubbing nicely at quarter. I'm happy with that. It's probably editable at that um, quarter there. Um, have a look. Quarter, it's playing back 8K footage a quarter. I think the Gigabyte Aero would play it back at 1 eighth. And this is the difference I think the i9 makes. To be fair to the Gigabyte Aero and the i7, it wasn't running in dual channel memory, but I don't think it will make that much of a difference. But that's just amazing that you can play that at quarter. So let's see some Cineform. So I've uncompressed this 8K footage and we'll see how it performs with Cineform now. We'll uncompress that footage there, and you can see it's scrubbing at full. This is 8K footage at full. It's scrubbing through that like butter, and this is what you do. You uncompress your footage to Cineform or ProRes or something like that. It'll really run like butter. So let's have a look here. Scrolling. Oh, here we go. Let's see if we can play back. This is 8K at full. I see it, but I don't believe it. 8K at full, it is playing it back, all of it. No, tell me it's not true. No, that is unbelievable. 8K footage, full, it's playing it back. Unbelievable. So you can edit 8K footage with this i9 and the XPS 15. Wow, that is amazing. Yes, you have to uncompress the footage, but even... With the footage raw, 8K, you could edit at quarter. And I would say, you know, if you're a thrill seeker and you don't mind a bit of choppiness, you could edit it at half even. Um, and have a look here. This is indeed 8K. So you can see there, I'm not lying. This is 
full on 8K footage and it just played through that at full. That is amazing that a laptop can do that. The Gigabyte Aero couldn't do that. So let's have a look at some Lightroom now. Let's see how fast it imports these photos. And that's one thing that's great about this laptop. You already know about the 4K display, 100% Adobe RGB and the performance we're getting from this i9. But not only that, it has an SD card slot, which not a lot of laptops have these days, a full size SD card slot. So, you know, I've been taking all these photos with a D800, so they're like 36 megapixel, I think it is. And they're raw photos, so they're raw, they're full size raw, and also we have some um, JPEGs as well, because I shoot raw and JPEG together. So this is raw and JPEG, they're like 40 megabytes. That's unbelievable how big they are. So when you import into Lightroom, it'll render the previews as well. So we'll see how fast, <coughs> excuse me, we'll see how fast it renders those previews. I'll just bring up the Intel gadget so we can see what the CPU is doing, how fast it is, how hard it is. And usually I would say go with the i7 because it's best bang for buck and there's not going to be much difference, you know. I used to say that with the i5, i7, you know. You get value out of the i5, but now... This i9, I was getting a minute faster than the Aero 15 with the i7 in rendering, a minute faster. I undervolted it. I got another minute. So it was nearly like 10 to 20% faster just with the i9. Now, it was 10% faster than the Aero, but then when you add the undervolt, it was another 10, nearly 10%. So works out nearly 20% faster, but of course you can undervolt the i7 in the actual uh, Aero 15, so you probably get that 10% back, but still a minute faster is just amazing. The i9 really screams, it really does perform, and look at it, look how fast it's um, rendering these previews of these, you know, 40 megabyte raw files, raw photo files. Of course there's some JPEGs in there, but it's just... Like, this used to really take a long time. I remember in laptops, it used to take for ages. So it just shows you now we can edit 8K footage on a laptop, which you would never even do on a desktop before. You needed some super-duper workstation. And now you can do it on your laptop. So this XPS 15, not only has it got great performance for a content creator, it has the killer screen, it has all the ports you want. It's super fast. And you can see the, I won't forward it. I'll keep this import going. So we'll see how long this import goes. So how many photos? Just over 100 there. So 120 or whatever it was. But um, usually I would walk out and come back, you know, 20 minutes later. But this isn't going to take 20 minutes. You can tell it's going to render these out very fast. And what are we? 4.3 gigahertz. And what? There's 136 photos. And... If we have a look at the package temperature, we're just over 80 degrees. So it is hammering and I would expect that this would be a fair bit faster on this i9 given that it's pretty much faster with everything else. So this is a really great content device, content creator's device, should I say. Um, I'm really happy with it and it also games too. So for me, this is perfect because it does all the content creation things great. It's very usable as a laptop because there's a great trackpad. I will mention that I can actually edit with this trackpad. There's not many uh, laptops I can edit with the trackpad. And let's have a look at these previews. Let's see how fast it opens and closes. See how fast that was? That was amazing. Let's open and close these previews. Boom. Just opens them so fast. Closes them. Let's have a look here. At this, it just that flew. That was so quick. I mean, I was just rambling on, and it's already ready. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just taking it back now. So what am I doing here? So we're in Lightroom. Uh, should we do a quick little edit or not? Yeah, we'll actually see how fast it goes through the previews first. So, yep, okay, boom, it opens them straight away. You know, sometimes it used to take hundred years to load previews, even on a desktop. So. It's amazing. Boom. Look at that. Instant. Let's load another one. Boom. Instant. Wow. This thing really flies. Boom. That's amazing because usually 
you, what you have to do is actually it's better to have your project or even your video files on another hard drive to make it fast. But this is actually doing it, rendering those previews that fast, opening and closing them with the actual content on the same drive as your Windows drive, which is suboptimal. You really want them on another like external SSD or something, but this can actually do it on the drive that fast. That is amazing. I think that's the power of the i9 there. It's quite amazing. So let's do some editing, hey? We're going to go into the develop module. We'll do some editing. Uh, what are we doing here? All right. Yeah, okay. Get lost. Shut up. Okay. So, yeah, it's doing a tutorial because I've just freshly installed this, so it may take a little bit, bit, bit longer to load up stuff. But anyway, let's do some quick edits here. So I like to see my highlights and shadows there. We'll just bring back those shadows there to make that black look nice and black. Um, we'll make the whites a bit wider. We'll try and blow out that background. Maybe No, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just push it to the edge, like as bright as it can be. Bring out these photos, and this will probably be the thumbnail for this um, this video that I'm doing now. It looks like a pretty good photo for a thumbnail. Just, oh, I didn't want to mess around with the shadows. I wanted to bring the blacks down, not the shadows. But we'll bring the shadows down a bit too. Um, yep. And, yeah, that looks nice like that. But as you can see, as soon as I do the edits, it's not lagging or anything. It's just instantly doing it. It just updates the preview straight away because this really performs well in Lightroom. I wouldn't expect that it wouldn't. Um, it's amazing how fast this is. Like, <laughs> you, if you've used Lightroom before, you get used to lag every now and then, but this is just like butter. It's super smooth through these previews. Let's try a brush. We'll try a brush and then we'll wrap it up because this video is going for way too long. But if you appreciate these things, please give me a like there. We'll just try a brush. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Get the brush. And let's see if we can... Um, that bit there where the blacks are crushed too much. Let's see if I can bring those blacks back a bit. So I'll just use the brush and we'll um, not add. We're going to add some black. No, we don't want to add black. We want to remove it. But we'll just resize that brush. And there we go. Boom, look at that. Instant. No lag, nothing. How cool is that? So... I hope I've covered enough of this. I don't want the video to lag on for too much longer, but um, as you can see, the brush worked instantly. The previews were very fast. It rendered it in, like imported so very fast. And the edits, when we just uh, done the edits in the um, develop module, it worked just like super fast. It was like instant. There was no lag. So... I think you will agree that this is a great content creator's device. It is a fantastic device. I really like it. I can highly recommend it for a content creator and it can game too. What more do you want? It's a premium package. I can use the trackpad. It's usable. I can edit photos with the trackpad. I can actually edit video with the trackpad. I like only the Surface products, Mac, and this is the only ones I can do that if I try to do it on something like the Aero. There's no way I could use the Aero trackpad to do this sort of thing. And as you can see, look, the brush works instantly. There's no lag. So I hope I covered it all for you there. I've really worked hard the last three days. I appreciate a like and a sub. Um, until the next one, guys, I'll catch you. Tally ho.